Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy we have a beautiful sunny day today. For the last few days it was kind of miserable. And soon you will see beautiful magnolias in Szczecin that are just stunning. So cannot wait to show you this probably in the next few days. Uh, but let's start with what I have for you guys. So yesterday I had a live stream with Scott Ritter. Those of you who have not seen it, make sure to check it out if you're interested. Of course, the best way to find it if you go on the main page of the channel under live category. Um, and of course, we mainly talk about the terrorist attack that took place in Moscow on Friday the 22nd of uh, March and also I asked Scott about his opinion about my you know unprofessional <laughs> not a military not a geopolitical expert kind of prediction what they are trying to pull off with the NATO troops in uh, Ukraine so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Today, the main topic of this video, I have three topics actually for you, but the main one is the article that have been posted on Polish portal, Polish website called Interia Wydarzenia. And this is something that I want to start with, meaning anyone who will be bringing this article or similar articles in the world as a point of reference is making a huge mistake in my opinion because they are not in Poland they don't really know overall the sentiment the opinion the emotions Polish people have about being pulled into not their war okay so this is the first second they know all those uh, mainstream medias that they are losing views they are losing interest from people who already figure out all this bs and who don't want to spend their time and their energy either reading this or watching this however there is still some danger in it because they still have some form of influence on people and even if people just read the title of it they might be under the impression that this is exactly how it is and this has to be the truth which is not so what is this article about let me think because there's like a school group coming and i want to find a quiet place to read you this Pauls spoke about sending troops to ukraine a new trend again this is major manipulation here but i have to tell you what they put out how they want to brainwash people again the good news is the good news is when you go on the website when you see this article the link will be down below in the description box what you see is the likes and i think they are going this way okay the likes and the dislikes of the readers of the viewers right you should see now when i clicked on it about an hour ago when i was preparing for uh, this this news 7000 people hit the angry emoji so at this point i think it's about 10000 just see this is the real survey and this is the real poll from people who who read this bs however let's go through this polls spoke about sending troops to ukraine a new trend more and more people want to send polish troops to ukraine according to the latest poll this is a clear increase in support for our country's involvement in the conflict beyond the eastern border i will give my commentary in between as always in addition public support for the participation of poles in ukraine's war against russia is also growing this is like lie after lie after lie okay but let's go through this it's actually on the contrary, it's the opposite. You just have to flip it. The authors of the study indicate that this is related to the so-called Macron's effect. Macron's effect. Wow. So he's that influential. Influential. I think he really is like Napoleon Bonaparte, right? That he influences people so much in Poland, especially like, wow. 
The survey was conducted by United Service for Dziennik Gazeta Prawna and RMFFM, Polish newspaper and Polish uh, radio station and uh, portal as well. The respondents were asked the question. So here is the key question, guys. What kind of help should Poland provide to Ukraine? This is like giving you no other options, like not if you want to help or you don't want to help or what do you want to help? No, this is what kind of help? So you already know that you have to help, but how, how do you, how are you going to help? What kind of help should Poland provide to Ukraine? 9.4% Poles believes that Poland should provide military assistance. 9.4% send the army to help Ukraine. Hmm. 9.4%. I wonder how they came up with this number. 27.1% of respondents are of the opinion that Polish citizens should be allowed to participate in the fighting on the Ukrainian front. Really? 27.1% of respondents they think that Polish citizens should be allowed like we can't wait to do it. Let me just wait, guys, when they pass to participate in the fighting like so they they want to die. 27.1% wants to die. That's how I'm reading this. OK, let's continue here. Let's sit down and continue. This means a clear increase in support for Polish involvement in the conflict in Ukraine. BS after BS after BS, okay? In Serbia, conducted in 2023, support for sending troops to the front was zero. <laughs> okay, if there is a number more than zero, there is, it's much more than zero. Now it's 010x. My comments. 3.4% of respondents wanted the green light for the participation of Poles in the war. So those are like, I think, under the influence of some, I don't know what, mushrooms, something, something. They want a green light. Let's go. OK, give me the green light. The authors of the survey point out that the results obtained can be called the Macron effect. Oh, this effect is like so, so amazing, right? There is no agreement to send troops to Ukraine, but such a solution cannot be ruled out in the future. Those are the words of the French president. The French president said at the end of, the, of an international conference in support of Ukraine in February. How can we not forget those? How can we forget those words, right? They are already in our subconscious. Emmanuel. Macron's words caused an uproar. The White House distanced itself, as if it has nothing to do with it, from the topic and said that it was not thinking about sending troops to Ukraine. No, because they're already there, right? NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg also spoke in a similar tone. The president had in mind personnel who would not carry out offensive mission, but only support missions in the field of weapon production, the mining, the bell, great, or tasks related to cybersecurity on the territory of Ukraine. The head of the French Foreign Ministry, Stefan, sorry, I don't speak French, Sejourun, Sejourun, later explained. Poles also see other ways to help. Look at this. As if it's not enough already, yeah? Most people want Poland to focus on humanitarian aid for Ukraine. Another BS, 75% of respondents at this point, seriously guys, especially, especially with the protests of Polish farmers, another BS uh, numbers here. There is also a lot of support for military aid in the form of supplies of ammunition and grenade la launchers, 67.6%. So here is the key. OK, there is also a lot of support for military aid, which means people think, no, 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 like we don't want to go there and die. Let's send them military help. But this is specified military help 
as far as you will be carrying those guns there, okay? This is the military help. That's my opinion, just my opinion. Military aid. You are part of this aid, military aid. Don't you get it? More than half of the respondents support the supply of heavy equipment to the front, 54.1%. Accepting refugees from Ukraine is supported by 46.8%. I don't believe this at all. Zero. Null. Absolutely not. And 41.1% of respondents are financially support. Uh, financially support. Yeah. No. The answer don't know hard to say was given by almost four percent this i believe i believe that four percent said i don't know what to say i don't know what to think so the survey was conducted let me tell you when on march 8 to 10 so women's day international women's day how nice huh? using the kati c-a-t-i slash kawi c-a-w-i mixed method on a sample of 1000 people Oh, I just want to say this. I don't know if those people had some problems with um, nervous system, mental problems, maybe some depression or some living in some virtual reality or maybe, maybe they play a lot of computer games or maybe, maybe this was conducted on 1000 artificial intelligence humans. Let's move away from the noise. So you have this, okay? I just want to emphasize again, if anyone brings this, no, Poles want to go to fight. No, Poles do not want to go to fight. Of course, there are some crazy nut cases. They want to be like, you know, alpha male, because that's how they define this to be. Like, this is the real alpha male. Trust me, guys, majority of people are absolutely against this. Trust me. And how I know this is because I see, I see the comments under the uh, videos that a lot of Polish channels put out and I see how people respond. Under all those discussions with those generals, retired generals, so-called experts, etc. Okay? Of course, there is some number of people who will do it or will be forced to do it, but those services are just a big BS. Okay? I just want to emphasize this again, over and over again. Meanwhile, Russia adds LGBT, and I think there is Q at the end of it, but I'm not sure. I always get confused with those uh, letters. He had a car, as you could tell. Russia, is, I wonder how much longer if the conflict starts. I wonder if he's going, you know, you never know. Russia adds LGBTQ movement to extremist and terrorist blacklist. Yep. State media in Russia reported on Friday, March 22nd. See the same day when the terrorist attack took place that the country has classified the LGBTQ movement as a extremist and terrorist group. In recent years, under the leadership of President Vladimir Putin, Russia has been moving towards traditional family value, a stance that is presented as a contrast to what is seen as the decent morals of the West. The shift has resulted in increased limitation on the public expression of sexual orientation and gender identity. The government has enacted legislation that prohibits the discrimination of information. Second about non-traditional sexual relationships and has made it illegal to legally or medically alter one's gender. So you'll find the link to this as well below in the comments, uh, in the description box, sorry guys. And here I have this from TAS. This is the last, the last article for you part of the article, not entire article. This is about the losses, financial losses, uh, after this terrorist attack in Moscow. I hope the noise is not too, too much for you. 
more about the Crocus City Hall here. So as we know, you know, you cannot put price on life. This is not even something to talk about, but there are other aspects now. As far as you know, they closed uh, many venues, many concerts have been cancelled. And losses to be incurred by promoters of concerts and others, mass events in Russia, after this terrorist attack on Krokus City Hall, could reach up to 3 to 4 billion rubles, which comes to about 33, 33, 43 million dollars. Evgeny Savronov, editor-in-chief for culture and entertainment at news agency Intermedia, told Viedomosti that losses from the complete cancellation of several hundred public events, including concerts and theatrical productions in Moscow alone, as specified by Sergei Babich, organizer for the international music industry, Forum Coliseum, have already reached 250 to 350 million rubles, 2.7, 3.8 million, already at this point. So we see when I get there in summertime, the situation probably will be, you know, some things might remain the same, but I think a lot of places will go back to be open again. And I was thinking about it before I give you the comments of the day, you know, guys, I was thinking about it that it's not now, it's a, it's a ripple effect because now you have people who, for example, you know, work in those theaters or museums. And many of you know how many museums I went to when I was in Russia. And I was trying my best to show you those places either on my YouTube channel or on Instagram. And the art and the beautiful interior design inside. Those people are not working right now, right? You know? Um, I'm pretty sure the government is going to provide them some uh, remuneration this way or the other. But, you know, I've spoken to so many people who work there, you know, those ladies in the museums and they want to talk about the art and you ask questions and just lovely, lovely people. So the artists, the Bolshoi and other theaters, you know, you think about it. So guys, I'm going to end with three comments of the day. All those comments are from my live stream with Scott Ritter. The first one is from Jimmy Brown, 4193. And this is something that I didn't know about. So thank you so much for mentioning this in your comment. The cowardly terrorists, while leaving the parking lot at Crocus City Hall in a car at high speed, hit a family with two small children. The children were seriously injured. They were hospitalized. Yeah, those, uh, those four men, I've mentioned this yesterday in my live stream with Scott, they look to me like MK, MK Ultra project, without a shadow of a doubt. Just the body is present, but the mind, the soul, is not there. That's how I felt when I look at them. And see, let's step here. Second comment. Oh, I forgot to write down from who. Sorry, guys. But I will bring tomorrow the name of the person. Putin said, God will judge them. My job is to bring them to God. Oh, I think we're going to see it very, very soon. The last one is from North Star 1060. I think their handlers were shocked. They were taken alive with their phones still on them. Yeah, I was actually thinking about it how they um, left those people and what, what was the plan? I mean, they really believed that they're going to escape it? No, I don't think they actually care. I think they're like, they're going to capture them anyway. So while they sacrifice all those people in that hall, they wanted those four to also be sacrificed. End of story. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Sorry, I was a little bit all over the place, I think just not too focused. I hope you still got some value from this video and from the information. And if you did, make sure to hit this like. It really helps the channel. And um, I want to say now to all of you who have 
supported me by watching my videos, not skipping the commercials, giving me the donations. Those of you who donated, by the way, on my, on my new fundraiser, I want to say a huge thank you because when I had buy me a coffee, I used to send thank you to every person who, uh, who donated, who bought me a coffee. And you can actually confirm this. I know you can, because <laughs> each one of you who sent me donation, I said thank you. So now I'm not doing this. It's a different uh, platform. But this fundraiser is there. Those of you who donated, I want to say thank you so much. All the links to the articles are down below this video, as well as to the locals community. Please make sure to join me on locals because you never know. You never know, I'm saying. Uh, also, mailing list is there. PayPal, Instagram, and what else? I think that's it. Lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, all over the place today. Bye, everyone.